show you how to make my unstuffed cabbage rolls up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She's bringing the Trailer Park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park. She's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget-minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park. The passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Hi there, trailer park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the trailer park queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, it's getting actually kind of cooler out, and maybe summer is slipping away, but we won't talk about that just yet because I still have some great recipes to share with you, like this one today that uses cabbage. And I know this is a fresh vegetable, and like I say before, um, if you're going to use a fresh vegetable, plan to use it that day or the next day, or just throw it in the trash right away because it'll just rot in your refrigerator and you'll never get to it and might as well just save the time then but today we're going to be making a great cabbage roll that is unstuffed and you know you don't have to take the pain of you know stuffing them and rolling them and that takes forever this is a great hot dish that you could serve maybe on a buffet table too people would really enjoy it it's my unstuffed Cabbage Rolls, up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Making my unstuffed cabbage rolls is really simple. I've got a skillet pan here and about a half pound of ground beef. Now, you can use a little bit more, but this stretches out your ground beef and you get more meals out of it. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper to this. And you can add a little bit of salt, but this is going to have a lot of tomato sauce in it. So that probably will make it salty, and we can change that around. I'm adding some garlic powder now, and we're just going to brown this up just a little bit, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, once we have that browning up on the stove top, we're going to add one small white onion to that, and let that simmer up and brown with the ground beef. So let me get this going and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, once you got the ground beef all browned up, you're gonna add a cup of the instant white rice right there and mix it all around and set this aside for just a moment. And we'll get back to it in just a second. Next up, you're gonna take a two and a half casserole dish Spray it out with some butter spray, and then you're going to take about a small head of cabbage and cut it all up. You can use big pieces or little slices, whatever you like, and put it in the bottom of the casserole dish. Now set this aside for a moment, and we'll get back to that in just a second. Now we're going to make the sauce, and I'm using tomato soup today that's condensed in the can, and I've got one can here. And then I've got another can that we're going to use. And we're going to mix this together with a cup of water. And that's all we're going to do to this for just a moment. So let me get that going and check back with you in just a second. Okay, now that we have our cabbage in the casserole dish, we can get back to our beef mixture. And I'll move this in just a second. But all I'm doing is putting it on top of this cabbage that we have chopped up. And you can add more seasonings to the ground beef as you're cooking it. And you could spice it up to how you like it. Some people like this hot. And add some hot sauce or any kind of things that you like to, you know, beef would be perfect in this dish. And now we've got our soup mixture. And we're just going to pour it right here on top. 
just like that. So it goes all down inside because that rice is going to cook up in the beef and the cabbage are just going to go nice together and it's going to be just like an unstuffed cabbage roll and it's just so simple to make and throw together and it's a lot simpler than waiting for, you know, rolling up that, you know, cabbage rolls. That's just so easy to put together. Now, we're going to put the lid on just like that. I've got the oven preheated to 350 degrees, and we're going to bake this for about 30 to 40 to 45 minutes until it's all nice and baked down. You might need to mix it around every now and then. So, go ahead and set your timer. And there you have it, my unstuffed cabbage rolls. This was so simple to make. We didn't have to roll up the cabbage rolls like you normally do. We made it in kind of like a casserole dish. And this would be great on a buffet. You could share this with everyone. It does make quite a lot. And we used the cabbage and the rice and the ground beef. And it was super simple because we used canned tomato soup to make the sauce. Now, who would have thought of that? That was just so great. But Cabbage is a great thing. It's supposed to be good for you, and it's one of the favorite things that I get off of the buffets all the time, but I'm tired of talking about it. Let me get a little bit of it and see how it tastes. Mmm. That is so good, and mmm. Very home style, and the onions and the tomato sauce and the crunch of the cabbage and the ground beef and this is a very filling dinner and this would be so great to fix in a jiffy one night and wow i hope you get a chance to make my unstuffed cabbage rolls and if you do send me pictures at jolene sugarbaker at gmail.com mm, i'm gonna finish that in just a bit don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. Add me as a friend all over the place. I'm on Instagram, Facebook. I'm there too. And go ahead and hit that big old subscribe button because there's more cooking shows right around the corner. I love you all and I'll see you back real soon. Live the trailer park way. Bye bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Fun. pride.